And we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you how to create a mirror text effect. Some people call this also a shadow effect, whatever you want to call it, we're going to recreate what you've seen in the thumbnail of this video. I've got a blank canvas right here, white background. And let me add some text, I use the type tool for that, I press Ctrl A to have it all selected and then I size it a little bit up. Maybe 300 should be enough to show you the effect. I'll put it somewhat in center. And now I've got this layer active and I duplicate it. And now I use the flip tool. You will find it right here where the scale tool is. You can also press shift F. Make sure that vertical is selected and then left click on your text. Drag the copy downwards while holding control and then you can use the arrow keys to bring it back upwards. Until this gap is closed right here. So this is the top layer and the one on top is the bottom text layer. Right click on it and alpha to selection. Create a new layer. Let me call it, let's say mirror, shadow, something like this. Make sure that it's transparent, that's important. And now we can make this layer invisible. Top layer is active and I use the gradient tool. Use foreground to transparent right here in the drop down. And then go from the top down. So it's important that this black element is on top. So you can flip it like this. If you have that, make sure that you inverse these plus signs so that the black one is on top and the transparent one is at the bottom. Let me check this, maybe that's okay. I go to select a none. Ah, oh, that wasn't perfect. I press Ctrl Z two times. And I add it again. And now I have to flip it. I go a little bit more inside. And now it looks way better. And that's about it. This is how you can create this mirror shadow effect in GIMP. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.